There are still so many questions tonight surrounding the horrific story that dominated the headlines all week. We're all still talking about it. Nine-year-old Emma Hernandez lost her life Monday afternoon after prosecutors say the neighbor's three pit bulls broke through a fence and attacked her. Well, the visitation is underway right now for Emma as the owner of those dogs sits in jail on a $2 million cash bond. We bring in Larry Spruill, who has been with Detroit Animal Control today, looking at exactly what they're up against on the streets every day. Larry. Well, good evening, Devin and Karen. This memorial right behind me continues to grow. You can see balloons, flowers, teddy bears, and even candles over there. Now, leaders are fighting to keep something from this happening again. 4,500, 4,500. That's the number of animals Animal Control says they collected in 2018. We're talking about dogs, cats, reptiles, and bats. It's a number Gene Ingersoll says they are trying to work on. So it's really now kind of taking a step back in October, starting to gather data, see how often you know we're responding or see how the responses are, see how many calls we're getting to, and then really adjusting. Animal Control says this issue is something that's been a topic for years now, but this week it's back in the forefront after police say three pit bulls attacked and killed little nine-year-old Emma. Family members tell Local 4 Emma was playing in this alley Monday afternoon near her home on Central Avenue. She was riding her bike with her 13-year-old brother. That's when the dogs attacked her. Now flowers, balloons, and teddy bears sit outside her home. The dog's owner, 33-year-old Pierre Cleveland, faced a judge this week. He's charged with second-degree murder, dangerous animal-causing death, and involuntary manslaughter. Neighbors say they complained to him about the dogs before. Animal control was looking into those claims. So it's really now kind of taking a step back in October, starting to gather data, see how often you know we're responding or see how the responses are. But that's not it. They recently boost up their staff. The department has 19 total officers, which nine are brand new and have to be trained. They are expected to be ready to go in October. And as you can see, this incident has really affected the neighbors and family in this area. As you can see, they are over there continuing to bring more things to that growing memorial. Now, as for the dog owner, he was granted a $2 million bond. We're live in Southwest Detroit tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Such a heartbreaking story. All right. Thank you, Larry.